What's up everybody, this is John, Pallet Response, and I am gonna be going over some holster options for concealed carry today. Um, specifically, um, we're gonna be talking about the different types of holsters that are out there that you can buy, just some general concepts, not necessarily so much the brands outside of the two that I recommend. Um, there's a ton of options out there and there's a lot of obscure companies that you can get and stuff like that that make custom holsters and things that are really good so um, i'm not really going to go into like the million different options that you have in terms of uh, brands out there i'll go over the ones i recommend which is tier one concealed and t-rex arms so what you're looking at here is the axis slim tier one axis slim and then over here we have the uh, t-rex sidecar so we'll be going over a little bit of the differences of those um, but in general uh, today i just want to talk about some general concepts of the type of holsters to look out for um, in terms of what not to buy like amazon holsters um, so to kick this off let's go over this amazon holster so you have here a bravo concealment holster um, this thing is just absolutely terrible. Okay, first off, uh, as a general concept, I personally am not a very big fan of sweat guards, um, depending on um, your, your physical size and things like that and your body makeup, these can be really, really annoying and dig into you and just cause a lot of problems that just, um, there's not really a lot of upsides in my personal subjective opinion. Um, generally too, I found that my customers are not a big fan of these either as well. So um, if there's an option, I would, not um, at a sweat guard, which you can do that with um, these type of uh, holsters that are out there, okay? Um, so generally I run no sweat guard if I have the option. Um, the other thing with a uh, cheap Amazon holster, which you're typically looking at around the range of like, you know, 30, 40 bucks, 20 bucks, somewhere around in there, and there'll be like a million options of Tatanka or whatever, you know, odd names that they have for their, their knockoff holsters, um, is the plastic. It, this is legit plastic. This is something that you would see a Nerf gun made out of or something like that. So um, it's not going to be dependable. Um, the screws are going to break, different things like that. Any kind of wear and tear, you really put this thing under any kind of, um, you know, durability or stress testing, it's going to break. Um, the other thing you'll notice here, and this is something as a general concept to watch out for, for all holsters, including anything like this as well, um, is the clips. Okay. So you'll see here, these clips are just, they move everywhere all around them. I and you can already see, I'm already starting to break this holster, just barely even tugging on it. Okay. So what that means is, is that when this goes around my belt and I go to pull that gun out, this thing is going to move a lot, right? This could get caught and kind of come with me. Um, it, it's just terrible, right? So I don't want a $600 gun with a $20 holster because this is the vehicle that I need to be able to get my gun out, right? So this is essentially a, the gatekeeper to my gun in a defensive carry situation. So I don't want a very cheap holster that isn't durable, that has lots of issues in terms of retention, um, uh, is uncomfortable. Um, this right here, I've worn this thing actually on security um, operations and it is absolutely terrible. So um, did that one time, I'll never do it again. So trash, we're throwing that away. All right, next, let's go over what actually is that I recommend. Um, and that again is the tier one axis slim. This is what I run on a daily basis with my Glock 43 here. Um, everything has been cleared. You'll see here we did our three point safety inspection, physically and visually inspecting the chamber, injection port, and then our magazine. Okay, so we're all clear. Um, the big thing with a tier one uh, or even a T-Rex sidecar, right, is the uh, material that the, the that this is made out of is more of like a tempered kydex. So um, I'm not exactly sure the exact scientific, you know, whatever makeup of this, but it's a very durable, hard um, plastic, right? It's not going to break like that Amazon holster. If you smash this on the ground, throw it on the ground, um, run into something, you're in a car accident or something like that, and it gets thrown. Um, so it also has a lot of retention too. So that's the other general concept that I look for in any holster is retention. I want some type of audible click that I know that my gun is seated into the holster. I don't want it loose where it can come out or if I go upside down, I'm jumping over a fence or something like that and the entire gun just falls out. Okay, we don't, we never want that, right? So some type of audible click and then you'll see here, obviously cleared. The T-Rex sidecar, same thing. You get an audible click to know that your gun has retention and it's not going to fall out. Okay. 
So back to the tier one, the next thing I'd like to go over um, is, or excuse me, the tier one and the T-Rex is the differences between the two. Um, very subjective. I like both the holsters. I tend to go with the tier one from a comfort level, just for whatever reason, again, subjectively, um, it's more comfortable than me. Some people like the T-Rex, some people like the tier one. Um, both are great, great, great holsters. Um, but the big thing that you'll notice here in the terms of the makeup is they have um, some like 550 paracord here that they use for your flex. So you can see this is when you're on your body, you can flex when you're placing on yourself to make it more comfortable, depending on, you know, the makeup of your, of your body. Um, same thing here, you have more of like a hinge based system uh, compared to the, the, the paracord that they have on the tier one. So not much of a difference. I tend to find that the, the paracord allows for a little more versatility with the flex, whereas the hinge system is a little rigid and you're not really getting that um, kind of those uh, uh, really awkward, you know, bends and things that might con contour to your body a little bit better. So um, I think that's generally why most people like the tier one over the T-Rex, but both are, are, are amazing holsters. Um, lastly, the big thing is your clips, okay? Um, I personally like to wear sweatpants. Um, I, you know, I might be leaving my house at midnight to go get a soda or something from 7-Eleven and I'm definitely going to have my firearm on me. Um, when I do that, I'm not going to go change into a lumberjack outfit like I'm in private security or something like that just to go to the store. Okay. Um, I like the ability to be able to run this holster and my concealed carry without having to change my outfit in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't matter what I am wearing, gym shorts, jogging pants, um, I can run board shorts, I can run this, uh, this, this, this holster because of the clips specifically, okay? So what you're gonna see here that I have on this tier one is called the Ulti Clips, okay? These are a, a, an additional charge. I believe they're like 20 bucks extra, 40 bucks, something like that um, when you um, customize your holster. So the tier one acts as slim on tier one concealed.com. Um, and you just, when you're going through your customization of your holster, no sweat guard, etc. cetera, um, you know, pick whatever cool colors you want. You can make these things look completely ridiculous, but these clips are the most important addition that you're going to add. Okay. Um, these clips are more like, uh, like a pacifier clip almost, right? It latches down. Let me see if I can get this right. It latches down to whatever clothing that you have like that and lo locks in. So this allows me to lock it down on sweatpants or what have you. And then I just pull my drawstring really tight and this gun has all the retention I need and I'm perfectly fine um, going to the store or whatever it is that I'm doing, okay? Um, likewise, if I put this on my jeans, it has more retention when I'm wearing a belt because it's going onto my jeans, latching down, and then my belt goes over top of it, further concealing the holster because you do not see the clips, whereas in your you know average default clips that they'll give you, whether it's tier one or T-Rex, the default clips are gonna have to go over your belt. Okay, so without a belt, you're not doing very well because these don't have a ton of retention. Now, these are better than what you would find from the trash Amazon holster that we just went over, but um, still, these um, do have some issues in terms of they're limited. You can only really use these for you know, something with a belt or something like that. You're kind of chancing it if you throw it on your jogging pants or something. Yeah, maybe you can get away with it, but I would go with the sure bet, which is something that's going to give you that that sure bet extra retention that you need um, to wear whatever you want, especially in a place like Florida or maybe even California or something like that. Um, no one wants to dress up like they're a 511 model just to be able to go places so they can have their firearm on you uh, on them. So uh, a big part of being a concealed carry um, carrier is having a firearm and a holster that allows you to be comfortable to wear it wherever you go, whenever you want. Um, no matter what. So, um, a lot of people I run into, you know, yeah, I wear my gun sometimes if I'm going here, or going there or something like that, but it's that one time that you don't have it on you that you're going to need it. So, um, spend the extra money, go with something that is going to actually last. That's going to be durable. Um, that's going to have some type of retention in terms of the click and, and being able to hold that gun into the holster itself has some type of, you know, contour and, and flexibility to, to adapt to your specific body type. Um, and then also the clips, 
The clips are a huge deal for just that extra retention um, to be able to wear different types of clothing on a daily basis. So that's your uh, quick overview of holsters and kind of my philosophy in terms of on a concealed carry basis of um, why I run this. Um, little bonus for you. These Ulti clips also, if you notice here, they have a little space right there. Okay, you can probably see that right there, a little space that pulls out. This allows me to tuck like, let's say, a uh, dress shirt into there. Okay, um, so basically it'll con completely conceal this in a suit. Um, if I was doing private security or something like that, I could actually tuck this in and you have no idea that I have a gun on me and I could be walking around in the office um, you know, looking like Steve Carell and stuff like that. And you'd have no idea that I have a firearm on me. So just a little bonus tip. Another big reason to go with the Ulti clips over your traditional old clips. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe. We're going to be putting out a lot more diversified content coming up in the next couple months. Uh, we appreciate all the support that we've had um, over the last month or so since we've really started to get a lot of our Instagram posts up and our YouTube up. And uh, we'll see you guys on the range. You guys stay safe.